Uh, everyone, Nick, check this another project again. Um, I got a small video with the pedestal backlight, which is now shining. And now I also have connected the glass shield, and it means uh, the central panel is connected. Also, uh, the backlight below the glass shield are working. You see, uh, this comes, uh, this belongs to the instrument panel as well with the fire backlight and the uh, SAT and uh, it shines pretty well it's uh, connected to uh, the 115 volts 400 uh, hertz power supply and uh, I will show you now how is it made I can provide you later maybe with uh, uh, with the schematics if you wish and again the dimmer is the inner one is for the center panel which is now not mounted but it is prepared we are only waiting for the light bulbs just for the backlight so after these light bulbs are changed and replaced uh, the panel will be mounted back and it's only four wires to be connected to the, the transformer that is uh, making the power from uh, uh, from the 115 volts to 0 to 5 volts uh, backlight so as you can see with turning this knob I'm able to dim uh, the fly director, which is with the uh, with the uh, with the glass shield, which is also part of the center panel, uh, center instrument, and the pedestal. So, and this large knob is controlling the um, pedestal backlight. I will turn on the light in uh, the hangar, and I'll show you <coughs> how it's made. So, I need these two lamps, one lamp, second lamp, that's these two LED lamps here, and um, I just found these four transformers, uh, one, two, three, four transformers, which were mounted in the left console, uh, so of the captain's side uh, console, uh, just next to the left feet and the work is simple it just uh, here is the schematics I don't know if that is visible or not but it's just transformer that has uh, a lot of uh, primary input and one secondary output the secondary output is uh, just you see the captain panel there is a bus mounted on one of the output and the second output goes to the ground which is then common and by changing the input, that's the 115 volts input uh, to different primary inputs of the transformer, it changes the voltage on the secondary. So that's for the center panel, for the pedestal, and for first and second, uh, first officer and uh, captain. Uh, now, in a full consumption, it's it will take about 100 something amperes um, so the panels are on and the red uh, red pedestal light is also controlled by uh, powered by the same voltage so if I look on on the power consumption we have uh, 400 uh, watts power supply see 114.8 volts 400 hertz and consumption is 124.3 watts, 1.2 amperes. So let's hope uh, we would, um, and the AC power and the power has 400 uh, watts available. So let's see where we can go with, with the rest of the panels when connected to the backlight. And also the red lights are powered and the um, a flu a fluorescent tube tubes four of them. We may think about connecting them to another power source because they are able to shine on uh, 220 volts as well, but uh, we will see. So that's the panel back, uh, back lighting and uh, see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.